What is up guys? It is Lady Catherine here and what I wanted to do is get started doing some book reviews. Um, I've reread a lot of these books prior to doing these reviews and opinions have changed from older reviews. So I just decided we will go ahead and re-record all of these books, okay? So there are 13 on my Kindle plus I have a list of like 40 some other books so there's quite a bit for book review content so I want to get started with these 13 Kindles um, as I'm already reading number 14 as we speak so the first one I want to I want to review is when God was a woman by Marilyn Stone and my reviews are gonna be a little more different than most. I'm, I mean, I'm going to try and keep these as short, sweet, simple, to the point as possible. Um, kind of tell you what I liked and didn't like about it, things like that. And just kind of keep it to that instead of going through the book like a lot of, like a lot of book reviewers do. So let's dive in. When God Was a Woman by Marilyn Stone, this was originally published through the Dial Press in New York in 1976. So, the copyright on this is actually 1976, Marilyn Stone. And I just, I want to start with the good things here. There are a lot of things you learn in this book. There is so much. It is a book that takes archaeological facts and supports the fact that goddess worship has been around forever and that it's not a new concept as well as the fact as well as trying to show that goddess worship has predates christianity and it's all through these archaeological like archaeological facts plus what we already know from prior historians and archaeologists as well and i re really love this book i have referred over and over again to it I am going through and Googling claims as fast as I can to some of the things that she makes in this book. And so far, I'm about halfway through it. I'm going through and Googling the claims and things like that in order to make sure this book is legit. And so far, I have been able to find everything at, in some way, shape, or form, whether in different wording or you know, just written in a very long, drawn-out post, whatever it may be, all right? So, it is very factual. So far, it is, you know, a legit factual book and not just someone's made-up beliefs and stories. And, you know, obviously, even though I don't personally work with deity in general other than like, I don't worship deity, but I'll work with them if they come into my life to teach me something, to teach me a lesson of some sort. So, you know, learning, you know, learning as much as I can from the standpoint of the goddess and God and, like, the history and worship of them, this is an invaluable tool, an invaluable book for me to have read. And it's given me a whole new appreciation for goddess worship in general. So... I mean, I just, I can't tell you enough how valuable it's been to me so far and helped me with my uh, studies of the goddess. So there's not a lot here. I'm just going to real quickly show you guys the um, table of contents here. There is literally a bunch of stuff at the beginning all the way to the introduction. And then there is about 11 chapters and it does end up in the last two chapters talking about the Christian concept of Adam and Eve, or the Christian myth, I should say, of Adam and Eve. So, you know, if that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you will learn in this book, you're, the, she takes, and she talks about sexual, uh, sacred sexual practices to the goddess, to the various goddesses out there. Uh, she talks about various ritual worships, uh, various offerings that were that were offered up to the to the goddesses of uh, very uh, many cultures. 
So there's a lot you learn. So some pros of this book, it's very well written, easy to understand. It is also a book with a lot of dates, which we're going to get to the dates in just a moment. So I do suggest that you read this book slowly. And I'll explain that here in a minute as well. But on top of all this, it's a very well researched book from what I can tell. The only few cons that I have, and they're just very minor, is with all the dates and places and names, you really want to read this book slow or you will get confused and turned around at every single corner. And if you're not one that can remember names, dates, and all that good information, definitely want to take notes as you're going through this book. This is not a book that you could sit down, in my opinion, this is not something you could sit down and read in an afternoon and be able to utilize the information that is in the book. This is something you have to sit down and take your time, take notes over, you know, uh, do what I do. I verify every, every claim that's made in a book anymore to see if it's something that I can find online. If I can find it online, then obviously it's a legitimate claim in some way, shape, or form. Um, and then it goes into there, like, how do I feel about that claim? Does it jive with me? Things like that. So definitely on the cons, it's not a quick read book. It is something you will need to take notes over. And there are a lot of names, dates, and places that... If you read it too fast, you're going to get confused with. So, over all in all, it is a great book. I highly recommend that anybody read this book, even if you do not work with deity or even if you do not worship deity. All right. So, guys, that is my review of When God Was a Woman by Marilyn Stone. And until next time, namaste.